Hey everyone, Nick from Meyer Sewing here. Today we're going to show you a little bit about how you might update and upgrade our Solaris machine. May have, uh, some of you may already know we've got the new upgrades and uh, we're going to do a video on how to update number one and upgrade number two. Um, those are two different terms so I'll go through that but first I want you guys to get to your machines if you're going to do this on your own and look at a part of your settings uh, where it shows you your info and your version info. So we'll click up on this little page icon right there, okay? And then we're gonna go to page 12 to start. And why I want you to do that is because here I'm working on Shirlene's machine and she's got this um, already on an auto update or an auto download feature. Some of you ha may have that if you're connected to Wi-Fi at home. And I'm gonna have a document that goes into how to do it wirelessly over Wi-Fi. But today for the update procedure, we're gonna be using a flash drive and showing it manually. And this way it will apply for a lot of other baby lock machines that are out there. So we'll have this on the website with all the supporting documents and links. You guys will be all set. But what's interesting is to see if this screen exists and if you can download it um, over your Wi-Fi, it's gonna give you the instructions there. Whereas if you see nothing like this on the 12th screen, you're gonna to navigate to page seven and look at this version info right here. So Shirlene's machine, as we'll keep calling it, <laughs> is 2.05. Yours may be different. If your machine is below 3.04, uh, Solaris, customers only speaking, um, you're gonna to want to update to 3.04 and that will allow you to put this new upgrade on. You'll see that Shirlene has upgrade number one called kit one on, and then the moment that we upgrade her, or excuse me, update her version uh, to 3.04, it will have the ability to add kit number two. So that'll be part of this video is showing you how to do that on the computer screen, and then we'll bring a flash drive into this port, and I'll show you just in case I forget to do it later. Uh, we've got the two different ports on the side of the machine, and if I can point correctly, yours is the top one. So not the bottom one, but the top one. All right, we'll be right back. What I wanted to point out is I'm on a page from BabyLock. I'm just on my uh, Google Chrome browser, but you can access this from Microsoft Edge or um, Safari on a Mac. You are gonna wanna make sure that you're doing it on a computer though, um, because you'll need a flash drive input to use that for the process of updating. So here I am on babylock.com slash support slash machine support, and I'll throw this link in the description so you can get here quickly. And in this part of the video, um, I'm gonna just show that it's available for all these machines. You can just click get downloads for all the different machines that are out there, but specifically, I'm gonna talk about the Solaris today. So when we go to something like the Solaris and hit get downloads, it's gonna take us to the screen here where it shows the different versions that are available. You may have uh, uh, some experience with this. And if you do, then you can skip towards the end of the video and I'll timestamp these with the upgrade process only. But if you wanna learn how to update, keep watching. So here is version 3.04. And then on the right here are some helpful PDFs that talk about instructions. They have some manuals there if you've lost yours, design guides and relevant information to each specific machine, depending on where we click. So for the Solaris, there is a video update that updates the tutorials that are loaded into the machine, but we're not gonna talk about that today. Um, you can read about it on the PDF that I'll be including though. Um, don't wanna confuse the whole process here. So what we're doing is we're updating the machine. And so if you are purchasing an upgrade, this is actually loaded into the link that the upgrade sends you to. It's babylock.com slash BLSAU2. And I'm gonna show you this process but if you have a different machine, just download the right one for your machine. So for the Solaris, here we are at the page that just guides us through this whole update slash upgrade process. We're gonna hit start your upgrade now. And it's gonna take us to a page where um, we're gonna just navigate through it together. So let me just read a little bit. The installation of Upgrade Kit 2 will be completed by following the instructions on this website. If you wanna know more, you can download a manual. That's nice. We're just gonna go to the certification procedure though and uh, confirm whether uh, we're working with a Wi-Fi machine or not. So like I stated, when we looked um, in your machine screen, 
it's possible that you have that connected to Wi-Fi, but if you don't, uh, we're going to show you the process of how you, you, you would use a thumb drive. So we're just going to say that our Wi-Fi is unavailable. So that's the part where you're going to look and figure out if you have the update already installed. If yours is on Wi-Fi, we saw this on Sherlene's, it may uh, have the possibility of just downloading automatically. But if you're not at 3.04, you would hit not latest and it's going to continue with the wizard here. So we're going to download this and then I just uh, want to show you guys how you're going to get this on a thumb drive. So this is how it works on a PC, similar on a Mac. Um, and you should be able to find some some uh, information on BabyLock and on Apple's website about how to manage files. But on a PC, you'll just be able to use it the same way I'm doing it now. And so I'm just going to insert my flash drive into a port on my computer and wait for it to pop up. I've named mine BabyLock here. You can name yours whatever. The important part to remember is that you need a empty flash drive. So as you can see, I've already downloaded the... Um, uh, flash drive, uh, excuse me, the update to my flash drive, but in any case that I had not, I'm going to want to empty this. So let me show you guys real quick how you would do that. You would jump into your file explorer, as it's called on PC, and find the drive that you're working with. Mine's in my F drive, and it's called BabyLock. A quick way to do this, and keep in mind, if you have designs on here, you'd rather, say, drag them onto something like your desktop to make sure you are keeping your design safe, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to reformat it, and it's going to just clear everything on the flash drive. So in some cases, this um, can be done if you just have you know stuff on there that you can't even remember why you had it on there and you don't need to keep it. Um, so I can just hit quick format and start. And you'll see it'll just give you a warning. It's going to erase everything. So this is for some. Um, if you're just going to be um, uh, starting with a, a fresh flash drive, then you don't have to worry about this. As long as it's empty, that's what it's looking for. So mine's cleared out. And then let me go back to show you how to download onto that flash drive. So we'll hit download. And then we're going to select baby lock. This is the file name. Um, you can see 3.04 is in there. And for some reason or another, they're all called taco. It's a little joke with us here at least. So you're going to download it to the flash drive. So I'll hit save. And it is a little bit of a larger file, so some of you may find that it takes a little while to download, but it gets there eventually. Let me see if mine's open yet. Still downloading. It'll show something like that if it's on its way to downloading, and then once it's done, it'll show the full name. There it is in my browser, 10 seconds left. And voila, it's there. So let's double check. It's there. And then here's an important part to keep your flash drives um, you know, better maintained or last longer, is you're going to want to right click and hit eject. And that safely ejects the flash drive from your computer. Um, so you don't run into perhaps damaging it at all. You can remove it at this point. All right. And then we're going to continue on. Uh, I'm going to show you the update on the machine next and then we'll come back to another video on the computer here in just a moment all right everyone and we're back at the machine so um, something that you're going to want to do if your machine is on turn it off all right you can put the flash drive in at this point let me show you again the port here the top port and then you're going to turn your machine on vanessa's going to help me with that and hold the needle threader at the same time until you see a much different window uh, or screen, I should say, as what you're used to. This is the update screen, all right? So <laughs> if you've been connected to Wi-Fi, that's where you could uh, continue this update via Wi-Fi. But today, and for most machines besides the Solaris, Meridian, Altair, and Venture, um, those are the four at least that come to my mind, you're gonna want to select manually through this flash drive right here. All right, so we've got 3.04. Remember, we started with a, a blank or an empty flash drive, and we can hit load. 
and it's going to take us through this process. I'll probably speed through it so you guys aren't here waiting with me. And the upgrade, um, or really it should say update, <laughs> is complete. At this point, you can turn off your machine. And when we turn it back on, we're going to remove that thumb drive. Turn it back on. And I'm going to show you how you can check and see that the update has been applied just for um, you know, crossing our T's and dotting our I's. So we'll go into settings again, this page icon. And then we can go to that same page, page 7. And there you can see it. 3.04 has been applied. All right, so we're updated, and now you'll see that uh, kit two is ready to be installed and certified. So we're gonna jump back to the computer and show you how, the, how you do that on your screen. Uh, you'll see a look at my setup here. I've got my laptop right next to my computer. This seems to work the best. You probably want them close together. And the whole process is really gonna only take about 15 minutes. I'm going more in depth, but you should have no problems with it. All right, see you in a second. One other thing, ladies, um, before you get back to your computer, you're gonna to wanna to write down, so um, you don't have to reference it again. Um, write down or keep this number handy. This is what we call your machine identification number. It's individual to your machine and it'll be used in the certification process when you've purchased an upgrade, which I'm about to show you. That we're resuming back on our computer on this page. We've just installed this update version 3.04. So we can click next. It'll explain again how we do that, but we've already done that. So that's just there to help you. And here is where we can, we're gonna put in that machine identification number that we wrote down. These upgrades will only work for one machine and that's because they were a purchased upgrade. And you'll get this activation code on a scratch card that comes inside these purchased upgrades. You can just use a, uh, we use a nickel. Um, let me make sure I write in the characters correct. Um, but, uh, you know, kind of like a scratch card. So enter that in. Um, make sure that your numbers are correct before continuing. And we look good. We're going to hit get the key. And then we get the certification key. So I'm going to jump back to the machine. Let's see. It'll go through this on the wizard a little bit more for you. Um, how to do that, I'm going to show you in real time. We're going to certify that we have purchased an upgrade and add those new features that we get on this Solaris 2. At the end of this wizard, it'll give you a congratulations. And you'll see that the kit number two, is specifically speaking on the Solaris, is going to have a check mark next to it. So let me show you that on the machine. All right, back to the machine. We've got this button here called certification. We'll click that and we're going to hit kit two. We're going to do normal, but uh, again, if you're on Wi-Fi, this would be uh, available to you. Just read the documents on how to do that. And we're going to type in the certification key that we've got. All right, make sure that that looks right before continuing. And we're gonna get this message. Certification was successful. Please restart the sewing machine. They should really say sewing, quilting, and embroidery, but hey, good enough. All right. Jump to settings again. And let's go to that page seven where it shows the version. And congratulations, you've done it. So you'll see the check mark next to kit number two. And you have successfully performed both an update, that was what we did on the flash drive, and an upgrade, which is how we got that certification key. If you have any questions, we're always here to help. Um, we're going to have a class showing new features on the Solaris. We'll do a Facebook Live or something. Uh, we're still discussing and planning how that's going to work, but. Uh, keep in the loop by getting our emails, following us on Facebook, and liking this video. Thanks for watching.